When you think of the people who helped Americans get into space, you probably don't think of someone who looks like me. Hi, I'm Dorothy Vaughn. I loved math and I was good at it. So when I saw an ad for a mathematician job at NACA, I knew I couldn't pass it up. NACA was trying to attach rockets to airplanes, something no one had ever done before. They put me in the West Area Computing Unit, an all-African-American group of brilliant women mathematicians. Because of Virginia's Jim Crow laws, we were segregated from other parts of NACA, even though we were just as smart and talented as anybody else. Not only did we work in separate offices, we had to use separate restrooms and sat at a lunch table in the back of the cafeteria labeled colored. Most folks didn't even know our unit existed, but our calculations helped send satellites into space and put a man on the moon for the first time in history. And get this, we did all these calculations by hand. We were called computers. No, not whatever machine you're using to watch this video, human computers. Still, some people didn't take us seriously. After all, the year before I started working at NACA, African American women weren't even allowed to work in the lab. And we definitely weren't allowed to be supervisors. But after a few years, I began leading the West Area Computers. And in 1951, I became the first African American supervisor in NACA's history. I knew I couldn't be a computer forever though. Eventually, electronic computers replaced us. So I taught myself a programming language called Fortran. I taught other women Fortran too, and made sure they got the pay and promotions they deserved. Of course, I was one of many who paved the way for women of color to work in science. NASA desegregated in 1959, and while things still aren't perfect, now no matter who you are, you can be anything you want to be. From a mathematician, to a programmer, to an astronaut. As long as you do your math homework.